Today on Cave Tools, we're going to talk about the Ryobi 40 Volt Brushless HP Lawn Tools. All right, I've been using these tools for the past couple of years, and the, some of these tools or the models that I have are actually old, so the latest versions of like the lawnmower that I have of the Weed Whacker are far more powerful. And the tools that I currently use are seriously doing the job and doing the job well. And I do torture these tools on a normal basis, uh, not to test out, but to actually really use them like I really want to. During the beginning of the season, I usually let my grass grow six to nine inches. That means that my lawnmower is gonna be tortured. So the lawnmower actually does do the job and do, does the job well. And I rarely stall out the actual motor for it to be overwhelmed by the amount of grass it's cutting at once. So if you're watching this video because you will need more information on gathering up enough evidence to convince yourself that you need to get into a lawn care line like the Ryobi 40 volt HP brushless stuff, these tools have not let me down yet. And the weed whacker that I actually have is a brushed one. It's an old version. And like I said, my lawnmower is a couple generations old already and it's seriously doing the trick and it's doing it well. The, these batteries last quite a while in there, also depending on how short you cut it. Well, right now I'm cutting it all the way down to the last setting. It's very easy to operate, very lightweight. As you can see right here, I actually have it hung up and I take it down and I hang it up every time when I use it and when I'm done with it. Ryobi always has great deals because they usually come in kits with multiple batteries and like these batteries are really good. And I do suggest you get the fast charger because the fast charger charges these up within like 45 minutes to an hour. If you have a, uh, an old, if you have a slow charger that takes hours to charge up one of these, and I don't even put a battery on charge on the old charger because by the time one of these is done on the fast charger, the other one is still charging it at half. And so I just could take that one, put it on there, and it'll charge two batteries in the same time the other one will for one battery. I have four batteries, and that is actually a perfect amount for using multiple tools at once with always having a battery on charge. And this Ryobi Whisperer Leaf Blower is insanely powerful. It's very quiet. This is not edited sound. It's seriously quiet and especially the lawnmower. The lawnmower that I have is an older model, but when it comes to the sound, every time somebody walks down my street while I'm mowing the front grass, ask me if I like the lawnmower that I'm using and they are they're surprised at how quiet it is because down the street you can hear someone using their gas lawnmower and it's insanely loud when you barely can hear my lawnmower a few houses down when the gas lawnmower is operating on a whole nother street and it echoes throughout the entire community so these tools are quiet as well and so they get to, they get the job done and get them done easily it gets them done in a way to where it's less effort and it makes your job easier because these lawn mowers are very light they are not heavy so if you have a little so if you have a hill you don't have a lot of weight fighting against you so they're really easy uh, lawn care equipment to use and i seriously love using them they're all on one battery platform, and that's what makes it easy to use. I want to get, uh, I'm going to get more Ryobi stuff, and I also do want to get this Ryobi lawnmower. I would love to get this Ryobi riding lawnmower. So Ryobi, if you want to get in contact with me for that, just let me know. I'll do tons of videos about it. The first thing I would do if I get this lawnmower is ride around the neighborhood and see how far I can go. And if once it dies, I'll just tow it back. If you guys needed that much more convincing to get into a battery operated lawn care line, Ryobi 40 volt HP brushless stuff is the trick. This will 100% satisfy you. I use this leaf blower for a lot of things. I use it to blow off the excessive grass of the surface of the lawn. I use this to clean the boat. I use this to clean the garage floor. I use this to clean off the deck. You and I also during and also during last fall, I wanted to see if this would do the trick on clearing out all of my leaves uh, on my property. And it actually did. I got rid of my gas powered Ryobi leaf blower because this is actually more powerful than that. It's quieter and it's lighter to use. And the batteries that I have were efficient enough to actually get the task done and get it done faster. I highly recommend the HP 40 volt stuff. Now I do think that uh, Ryobi should actually uh, add a few more things. The, Re the Ryobi Air Cannon, I think that they should make that 40 volt. 
That would be an awesome product right there. I would buy, I would buy that instantly. Like I said, I have an old generation lawnmower and it's seriously a good lawnmower. And I can only imagine what the new generations actually perform. And I bought that lawnmower for $150 because it was on sale. So I hope that this video helped you if you wanted to buy into a battery operated lawn care line. I highly recommend the Ryobi 40 volt HP stuff. It actually is good stuff. Ryobi is not the company that they used to be. Ryobi is actually a good legitimate tool company now that makes fantastic products even for their tools i am a fan of their uh i am a fan of their new tools because they actually are powerful i love this leaf blower i really do i i bought the first generation of this this one is the second generation and uh, this ryobi sent me this one and this one's a far better than the first generation was when it comes to the whisperer series and it, I highly recommend this stuff. So I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.